Hi, welcome to Mella Reads, um, my YouTube channel. I have just come off the back of recording a video about what I read, what I'm grieving, and I've been thinking that I would also like to do a bit more about who I am, where I'm coming at, at this whole booktube thing. I know I did the newbie booktube tag, but two things with that. One, firstly, I had no experience. I had no idea what I was doing. And the second thing is that you can't hear me because the audio on my phone is apparently not very good. And also I was like super nervous and basically whispering. I am still having audio issues at the moment. I think there's a lag between my visual and my audio, but I'm just going to jump into some stuff anyway while I'm here in front of the mic and camera. So I thought I might kick this off with a anything but books tag. Um, so I have found this on a blog called Strange Storyteller. So if you want to check out their responses, go for it. Um, but number one is name a cartoon that you love. I don't watch many cartoons, but in the past year or so, I have watched Avatar, The Last Airbender with my partner and our stepdaughter, and it is excellent. Anyone that's seen it will tell you so. The storytelling is just perfection. Um, and the fact that it was done for like a Nickelodeon kids TV series is just it's it's one of those flukes. And if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you watch it. It's usually on a streaming service. so. Go check that out and be pleasantly surprised. What is your favorite song right now? I have not been listening to much music lately. Uh, however, an album that I just played on repeat in the past couple weeks, like for a day, I think I listened to it three or four times, is Days Are Gone by Haim. So I'm going to pop a little image of that in there if you want to check it out or give me some, you know, Haim love. Tell me that you've done the same thing recently. Uh, what could you do for hours that isn't reading? I sadly have a very big problem with playing games on my phone. Just like trashy games that are there just to make me do in-app purchases. And through all of the COVID drama, I've really let myself lean into that as a way to pass the time when I haven't been able to do other things that I would usually do. Um, and I guess it gives me what I call happy snappies, those little tap, tap, taps, numbers going up, whatever it is that's making me feel good about myself. Um, so that is something I do for hours that is not reading. And I would like to convert more of that phone game time into reading time. That's part of why I'm here. What is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? I don't think much about me is surprising. Um, if you can see what's behind me, this is my sort of art table where I dabble in art, I dabble in writing, I dabble in reading, as, as you can tell from this channel. I do jigsaw puzzles. It's another chill introvert activity that I enjoy. Um, and going for walks, that's like my life. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? I go through phases. Recent, recent-ish was a phase about human evolution and sort of that period where we were sort of really ancient humans. We weren't the humans we know today, but sort of that that phase between being um, animals and humans and how that occurred and what that looked like. It's super fascinating. Um, and that's something that I still would like to learn more about. I will often go on tangents related to whatever else I'm reading. So I've started reading 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which might send me on like a little spiral reading about a specific sea creature. Um, 
or something that I'm reading set in it because I'm reading a lot of classics set in a specific time period you know it might send me down a path reading about something in a particular time and place or this village or this book that's referenced um but I wouldn't say I have a favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about I like it changes uh, what is something unusual you know how to do? I don't know if this is unusual as such, but I like pretty much never cook to recipes, whether I'm cooking or baking. I just sort of intuit what I'm going to need to use. Sometimes I'll do a bit of research if it's a new thing I haven't made before. And some recipes that are out there in the general neck of the woods of what I'm thinking of doing. And then I just rip into it my own way, usually with good results. Hmm. Name something that you've made in the last year and show us if you can. Uh, most of what's on the wall behind me has been done in the past year or so. Nothing too exciting to pick out as an individual item. Uh, what is your most recent personal project? That would be this booktube. And... Um, it's certainly giving me things to think about and things to work on already, which is great. Um, and it's also really upped my engagement with reading and my thinking about what I'm reading and what I'm gaining from reading. So I am loving that so far, even if uh, no one's watching. I'm just sort of like screaming into the void right now, but it's good for me. So I'm going to go with it. Um, tell us something you think about often, maybe while staring out the window. I am a super big fan of the colors of the sky. Actually, I will show you something I painted just the other day in the dusk sky quite often when I'm driving home from work. So you can see that what I'm interested in is the colors as, as they sort of meld into one another. And then this is just like meant to be like suburbia down the bottom. But that's something that I love to just like, I'm trying to focus on driving, but I can't help but try and like really focus on how those colors are melding into one another and why it's those particular combinations of colors. This is already dusty. Really got to store my things better. Um, Give us something that's your favorite, but make it something oddly specific, not like your favorite food, but like your favorite food when you've been studying for hours and forgot to eat. Well, you know, something like that. Okay, my favorite that is oddly specific is... Oh, I can do so many of these. Um... As I've mentioned, I love listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks narrated by Stephen Fry. Specifically, when I'm going to sleep, I find it very relaxing because I know them pretty much off by heart. Plus, Stephen Fry is an excellent narrator. Um, one of my other specific favorites is that I like to write with colored pens. I'm a very visual person, so having colored pens at hand helps me when I'm making notes or just generally scribbling so that things make sense for the way my brain works. I like different bread depending on my mood. Might be like a sourdough or a panna di casa. Sometimes I just want like real like wonder white white bread. Um, yes, and I love bread a lot, especially if I'm not feeling great mentally or physically. Such comfort, amazing. Mm. 
So that was that anything about books tag. Uh, just to wrap off a couple more minutes of things about me, I'm trying to like work out where I fit into booktube and I'm still exploring the booktube community, like working out who's who in the zoo and what they're doing and what I like to watch in terms of content because I think the same rule goes here as for writing like write what you would enjoy to read so I'm trying to make content that I would be interested in watching and I'm thinking the movement I'm making as I dig in is a bit more towards like less frequent videos but more analytical or comparative about the things I'm reading the themes I'm reading and um and the way texts play off each other. I can give you a quick insight into some of the things I'm thinking of doing upcoming to sort of paint the picture of what I mean there. Um, so one is talking about women in the macabre, women writing horror and mystery and, and, and thrillers. And it's something that women have repeatedly done really well. Some of the best books in those genres are written by women. And when I had my recent stint of grieving, one of the first things I was drawn to was watching like a horror movie, which I thought was interesting and maybe a way of coping with reality is going to something even more horrific. I'm still working on my thoughts around that. Another one I'm working on my thoughts around is um, I've mentioned I'm interested in depictions of feminine archetypes. So I'm still working around that. Um, depictions of young and precocious slash sexualized people written by those young and precocious people themselves versus written by older writers. Um, I want to do one on reading big books because I am working on some big hefty books that are in that pile behind me. Um, and it's it's a struggle and I'm sure I'm not the only one that struggles. Um, also, when I finish all of the Brontes, I want to do like a whole Bronte reflection. I've got plans to do a Wuthering Heights adaptation ranking video. So I'm going to have to watch some films and TV shows for that one. Um, and yeah, some stuff around derivative fiction slash fan fiction as it's now known. Um, so those are some of the ideas I'm thinking of rather than just being like, I'm reading a book. Here's what I'm reading. Here's what I read. Here's what I think about it. But more of that like... Um, meta-analysis or intertextual analysis so if you're interested in that please subscribe and i'm gonna endeavor to be posting a video weekly rather than twice a week but of that more in-depth sort of a little bit work a bit more work behind it um so as i mentioned in my newbie book tag i'm queer i might have mentioned that i'm a stepmom I have a job, I work four days a week, my partner works massive hours, so I'm doing a lot of the householdy things and I'm I'm sort of like in this identity that I didn't expect to be in actually at any point in my life, where I'm more or less a semi housewife mum living at home in the suburbs, often home by myself, which means I have a lot of time for reading, but I still need to do a lot of grown up things. That need to be done because I'm the only one to get them done um, and so I think reading is going to be something I want to hang on to as I settle into this identity a bit more as like something I do for my pleasure and my escapism in a healthy way around those other responsibilities um, which I feel like is really distinct from a lot of the beautifully aesthetic stuff on booktube these young people with their like cozy reading vlogs and they have gorgeous lives and i'm just trying to you know keep our clothes clean and dry and make sure there's dinner on the table at a reasonable hour so um if you want to jump in for a journey that's something like that instead of some of that other gorgeous aesthetic stuff feel free to join me and i think i will leave it at that for today um, there was two videos, but I'll stagger their scheduling because I'm still getting my groove back, getting my motivation back and getting my headspace and my, my brain functioning a bit more on track since what's happened, um, in the past few weeks. But, um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. And I hope you're taking care and I'll see you next time. Bye.